Today, we're talking about ISAs, setting the expectations for you and your ISA program, and what to expect so you're not disappointed and can get results. All right, so for the ISAs, this is what you want to think about with ISA program. They are not professional people who are going to close appointments for you and just get you out there to set an appointment and go on a, a buyer showing or a seller listing appointment, okay? That is unrealistic. There are lead services out there that do give you leads like that, that can get you to appointments, Zillow, um, et cetera, okay? You, need, you still need to talk to them. Here's what you want to do with your ISA program. You want to make sure that they are warming up leads for you. It is the agent's job to then close that appointment. I don't care if it's three, six, nine months down the road. The ISAs are made so that you as an agent don't have to funnel through 100, 200 leads in order to find that hand raiser that says, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about it. Or, yeah, when my uh, son goes to college. Or, you know, we've been toying with that um, question whether we wanted to sell or not and buy another one or make a home improvement. Or whatever the situation may be, this is what the ISA is for. It is for a lead that's going to get someone to raise their hand. All right? If you're an agent that isn't practicing your scripts and your objections and being on the phone and understanding your value proposition, uh, you're, you need to get better at that because what you need to do with these leads that we're getting from the ISA program is they still require follow-up, right? We got a hand raiser. Next step would be call that person follow-up, all right? Dig a little bit deeper than that ISA did, all right? As an agent, we should be better than ISAs, all right? And we should know the business better. And we should know our scripts and objections better. All right, now a lot of agents will start off as ISAs and that is perfect. I've seen the best agents come from ISAs because they sat on the phone all day, right? And had conversations. That's what it's about. That's how you get better. So the ISA is going to get the hand raiser. It's the agent's responsibility to then follow up with that uh, lead over a certain amount of time, figure out where they're at with an initial conversation, and then provide the follow-up call, the value, the timing, whatever is necessary in order to convert that lead in the future, okay? What is the problem, the pain point? What do you have as a solution or what can you provide to that person in order for them to make a good decision for themselves whether or not they are now going to uh, work with you, okay? That is what an ISA does. The ISA funnels through everything for you so you don't have to sit there all day long, okay? and then they'll pass it along. It does not mean that you still don't need to follow up. This is a sales business. You need to be a sales individual, and that means you are a problem solver trying to help people with the value and knowledge that you have, all right? We are not just agents anymore that send people homes. They can find them on their own. We're knowledgeable, we're experts, we're negotiators, we're problem solvers. That's what we are as agents now. Start acting like one. Get your ISA program going. If you're a team or a broker that doesn't have one, um, it's a great service that you can offer to get those hand raisers. Agents, don't treat it like these are hot, hot leads that are going to go out and buy tomorrow. You still have to put some work into it to get those results. So make sure you're doing that as an agent. And um, good luck out there. Let's go get them.